So this is little Rosie. She's the brand new addition to the family. She's a puppy corgi, well, eight weeks old. And she's the reason for the lack of videos. So you can blame this little girl because obviously she's too cute. I don't wanna be, you know, taking time away and filming while she's growing and playing all the time. Uh, but also, cause she has a little baller of energy. She likes naps, uh, but they're very quick. So it's tough to film when we have a little cutie like this. And uh, big sister Luna isn't too fond of it, are you? Do you like being a big sister or did you like being the only child? Yeah, that's what I thought. But look at that face. Look at that face. What's up, guys? I'm Random Frank P. Hope y'all had a Merry Chrysler. Welcome back to episode 234 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. This week, the last episode of 2020. Next week, we're gonna have the best of the best for the entire year, so hope you're pumped for that. If you see anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out, but we'll kick it off now. 234. First up today, we have Jeff Alou with the triple monitor setup plus the massive overhead TV. So PC gaming, console gaming, all right here. Tons of RGB around the setup as well to really bring it to life, nice and neon. Got the pinks, the purples, the blues. For those monitors, his primary display in the middle is an MSI Optics 27 inch, one millisecond response time, 144 hertz at 2560 by 1440. The two outer monitors are 27 inch panels from ASUS. They're also 1440p, but at 75 hertz. Then the overhead is a 4K 55 inch TV from Samsung. For its peripherals, we have the Corsair Gaming K95 Platinum RGB keyboard with Logitech G900 Chaos Spectrum mouse on a Razer Goliathus extended chroma mouse pad. And the headset there in the corner is the Logitech G933. That one of three, he has two others on the uh, case as you might have seen, but that's the primary. So while we're here, we'll talk PC. This case is the Corsair Graphite 600T case. Inside, it's got an Intel i7 4770K CPU with 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM on an Asus Griffin motherboard with an Aorus RTX 2070 Super GPU. So a blend of older and new hardware inside here, but hey, as long as that GPU is not bottlenecked and that 2070 is giving you all the frames, then all should be good. So the bedroom trifecta of a gaming setup here with the console gaming, the PC gaming, and then as you can see on the left side of the desk, the laptop for who knows what, productivity, work, anything like that, all together comes for a really nice looking setup. Next, we've got Christopher, and I am loving this. This is seemingly, I would say, like a living room style setup with that big old window there, tons of natural lighting, as you can see here on the side of the shot, the big TV as well with the entertainment console. So I am really loving the way this came together. Three monitors, nice wooden desktop, and you can see he has the desk extended on both sides to you know branch out by the TV, and then on the right side for his PC. So just tons and tons of space. For those three monitors, they are very nicely mounted, and they are each a Dell 27-inch Ultra Sharp, the U2717D. Speaking of being mounted, so are his speakers up on each side of those outside monitors. They're the Sax AS30 Air Sound speakers, and also behind the monitors, you can see the use of those Colo lights. They are the more affordable Nano Leaf sort of alternative, and they look really good here, mounted nice and bright and vibrant as well. And then for his peripherals, we have a Logitech G810 Orion Spectrum keyboard with Logitech G703 Lightspeed wireless mouse in conjunction with their PowerPlay mouse pad on a extended mouse pad underneath, nice and colorful. With the SteelSeries Arctis Pro headset for audio, you can see peeking off the right side of the frame. And then right next to that really cool looking Evangelion figure, uh, that is from Papercraft Models, we have the PC. This is the NZX the S340 Elite case in the black and blue version. Inside is an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X CPU with an NZXT Kraken X62 AIO. Got 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on a Gigabyte X570 Aorus Master Motherboard and an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Founders Edition GPU. Hero RTX 3800, but I know what he meant. And then on the other side of the room, a really cool spot, you know, the bunch of collectibles and figures up on the shelves, kick back on the couch and relax. Oh yeah, that massive Charizard is 1.7 meters tall. They can all kick back and watch some TV, watch some movies on the Sony A9 
F OLED model. Not too sure um, how big that is. I'd say it's looking like at least 50 or 55 inches. Super clean cable management underneath there and along that whole side of the wall where the setup goes to. So great job on cable management. Great job on making this spot just a really nice, comfy gaming zone altogether. So really liking this, Christopher. Man, I am hopped up on this orange dreamsicle rain. I'm not too big of an energy drink kind of guy, but this is delish. Next up is VG Butter. And he's definitely going the more, you know, minimal approach here. Not kind of overkill like the last two monitors, but also making it a really nice sort of cozy industrial look to the setup. I like that backdrop with the, uh, the faux brick and stuff, all black. Complements everything really nicely. For his monitor, going the solo route with a ViewSonic 27-inch display. And I'm really liking this custom desk he has. I love the finish on it. It has uh, built-in pretty much cable management there on the back side so we can route everything nicely and efficiently. So great job on that and just this stain to it looks super nice. For the peripherals, he has a custom DZ65 with a tofu acrylic case, a brass plate inside with Gateron Inc. V2 switches, and black on black keycaps, a complimentary matching wooden wrist rest, and Logitech G Pro wireless mouse with the Ninja FX high-end artisan mouse pads. We got a man of culture here. For audio, Logitech G Pro headset and the Edifier R1280 dB speakers on each side, black and wooden accents throughout, so it matches everything real nicely. For the PC, this is the Rack Sanaya case. We have a Ryzen 5 2600 CPU with the Arctic Freezer 34 Duo CPU cooler. 16 gigs of T-Force Delta RGB RAM on an MSI B450 Mortar Max motherboard and an MSI RTX 2060 Ventus XS GPU. As you can see with the fans and the RAM inside, going all white with the LEDs. And then wrapping it up on the left side, you can see that's not actually a monitor, but the Huion Canvas 13. So a drawing tablet pretty much that has a display as well. Whether for graphic design or photo editing, that is one of the top rated graphic tablets out there. So having it there as a secondary pretty much display and extra screen real estate to get work done, I think is a great addition to this really nice looking setup. Next up, coming up clutch is Hamad, with by far one of the craziest gaming rooms I've seen, just in time for next week's 2020 wrap up edition. This will definitely be in there, because it is best of the best. I mean, take a look at this, and it is just insane. So, there is a lot going on here, obviously. We're just going to roll through. He submitted nearly 100 photos, so had to cut it down, obviously, uh, for this show. But you can just take a look, have those jaws dropped, and we'll just talk about some of the specs as we roll through this glorious, oh so glorious gaming room. So first off, not only is the setup insane, but so is the paneling on the wall with integrated RGB. The ceiling panels have the RGB as well, and it is just looking crazy. So for his monitors, his primary is the insane Samsung Odyssey G9 49 inch monitor. On the left is an Alienware 34 inch, then on the right side is an Alienware 27 inch 240 hertz display. So most of them he can use obviously all for gaming hooked up to the PC, but he also has the right one hooked up to an Xbox. We can get some console gaming done on that right side as well. And take a look under the desk. It's remarkable how clean the cable management is here for literally everything going on. So a great job of keeping that all nice and tidy. Now for the peripherals, two different sets pretty much. Is the Razer Huntsman Mini up top next to the Xbox controller for controlling that side. For his primary ones, he had the Logitech G915 TKL in white with the Razer Tartarus Pro keypad and the Logitech G203 Light Sync mouse. Then that thing in the middle there is the Loop Deck Creative tool, which is really cool for photo editing, video editing. You can obviously use it for streaming. Then for audio, JBL Pulse 4 are those RGB glowy speakers. In addition to the Logitech G733 headset and the AKG K702 open back headphones. And guess what? We are not even close to being done. Uh, still a lot, a lot to go over. So like I said before, I'm loving that paneling on the wall. And in between, you can see the shelves with the figures and stuff, uh, making the lights behind it glow and really pop and stand out. He also has a dedicated racing sim over on the right side of the desk, pretty much. This is the Fanatec Forza Horizon racing rig. So a fourth monitor and set up as an extension off to the right side of the desk. And then powering everything is the this monster of a PC. It's the Corsair Crystal 680X RGB case with an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 
3960X CPU with the Corsair Hydro H100i RGB Platinum SE cooler on an Asus Prime TRX40 Pro motherboard, 128 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, and an Asus ROG Strix RTX 2080 Ti GPU. And with mainly all the white components and stuff, with the RGB and the fans, the RAM, it really just makes everything else really pop and stand out inside. So really colorful and really powerful. Speaking of powerful, he has a sort of sentimental integration into his setup. So in April, he actually had a fire in the house and it completely destroyed his entire setup and gaming room. So what he did is when he rebuilt it, in the actual ceiling, he has integrated all the support and all the messages from people who reached out to him during that fire. So I love seeing that because it's a great way to really, you know, be humbled in a way and get all this inspiration from all the support you've had. So I love how he has that integrated right as you come down into the room. And if you thought we were done there, you are dead wrong because on the other side, he has a really cool entertainment center to kick back and relax, game on that TV. You know he's got the Xbox Series X. You know he has the PS5. So the entertainment center, a spot to kick back and relax for a bit. And then as you see off to the left, there is another desk setup. This one a lot more minimal. Um, I like the approach here because it's the complete opposite. So it's cool to have both the crazy overkill side and then the minimal aspect of a setup as well. So all together, one of the craziest, like I said, gaming rooms you will see from head to toe, RGB everywhere. And even on the left side there, you can see that really cool like abstract design on the wall. Uh, that's sort of like when he does YouTube videos and stuff. Uh, it acts as a really cool backdrop. So I think Hamad has one of the craziest setups you will see. And I'll drop his Instagram down below. Go over, give him some love because uh, it's well deserved. And then last but not least, we have Boneless Allen. And unfortunately, it does come after that overkill setup. So in, you know, comparison back to back like this, it might not look as crazy. But either way, it's still a really nice uh, setup that has these like office vibes to it. So it has that more professional, like minimal approach at the same time. He is going with a 35 inch BenQ monitor at 3440 by 1440p and a 100 hertz refresh rate. I do like the integration of the RGB light strip under Underneath that shelf where the monitor is sitting on so it's still gonna shine it onto the actual desktop surface kind of has it going with like a warm white or an orange to match sort of the color theme with the orange lights in the hardware as well as in the PC and for the peripherals is the HyperX alloy origins keyboard with Logitech G903 light speed mouse and in the back there for the headset it's a steel series Arctis 7 wireless on the Corsair ST100 RGB headset stand then also on the left side of the desk he does have his MacBook Pro 16 inch and his iPad Pro for that extra productivity for our programming, graphic design, drawing, all that stuff. I'm also digging the artwork he has up on the wall. And then over on the right side is his PC. This is the NZXT H510 Elite case. Inside an Intel i7 9700K CPU. Uh, don't have too much information on the hardware, unfortunately. Can't really tell, but it does seem like some sort of Corsair AIO. 16 gigs of the Trident Z RGB RAM on an MSI Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard and an MSI Ventus RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. I do like the layout and the design of the shelving unit you have behind the setup. Lots of green and stuff integrated as well for the plants. And taking a look at it now, it seems you have some sort of like carpeted panels up on the ceiling, which is a really good idea and something that I should probably do down here in the studio. So I like that. And altogether, Boneless Allen, I'm liking the setup. Like I said before, unfortunately, it just comes after the crazy setup from Ahmad. But you in your own way have a really good thing going on. I'm sure tons of people out there are still really digging this just like I am. This episode is sponsored by Corsair and the new K100 RGB keyboard. With a ton of new features right at your fingertips, you get the addition of a new multifunctional dial to let you change lighting, music, scroll pages, anything you want. We now have optical switches with their own OPEX linears that are super smooth and fast with their new 4000 Hz pulling capability in addition to a new wrist rest and dynamic RGB lighting zones. This is definitely going to be on a lot of people's wish list coming up this holiday season. So if you want to check it out, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. So, all right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 234 Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, check the description down below for all the gear and hardware you saw, plus some simple instructions on how to submit your setup. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a merry criminal. Have a good day. See you next year. Ha ha ha, get it next year.